My name is Alicia Brooks, and I'm a writing coach, and I'm a writer of several novels and screenplays, and a writer's book just for you. And I want to help you overcome writer's block for good. On the block. Today, I want to talk to you a bit about character building. This is a very important activity. This is considered part of your planning stage, okay? When you are planning, not in the throes of your book, you're in the planning stage, okay? So I've actually created some character charts. I want to just go through these items that are on the character charts and, um, you know, talk a little bit about each thing. Um, Obviously, your character is um, gonna, going to be diverse and, uh, you know, going to have uh, all sorts of uh, different attributes. Some of these things you may not know. Some of them you may never use. But the point is to make a full character, really somebody that stands out, somebody that a reader... Uh, wants to get invested in, right? Um, you're going to really make a uh, three-dimensional character. You, you're not going to make a flat character. If you make a flat character, your reader is going to be disappointed. Now, um, he may be even more disappointed. He may not uh, return. He may put the book down. You may lose him. So if you want to retain your readers and gather more, you're going to really create um, very detailed characters. You're going to give them a history, a backstory. Um, you're going to give them certain aspects that make them real to your reader. Um, a reader likes to read things that feel real. Now, I know that um, okay, why do we have sci-fi then? Why do we have fantasy? Well, ask the reader. When they read the book, do they feel like they're inside of it? I'm sure they do. You know, whether it's fantasy or sci-fi or horror, they are enwrapped in it. So it can feel very real. I know uh, that growing up reading Stephen King, I would tremble. You know, my heart would beat out of my chest. <laughs> that is pretty real. So, all right. So as um, characters, as you're building these characters, you want to know things, you know, like, um, hey, what's their hometown? What's the current city they live in? Are the two different? You know, did they go from that hometown to this current city because... You know, they were disappointed in the hometown. Was it a small hometown? Did they go move to the big city? You know, there are people out there that move from other countries and uh, end up in uh, different cities because they grew up in villages and they go to the city, you know. So there's, there's some interesting things that you can create if you have that situation. Um, what's their income level? Are they poor? Are they rich? Are they you know, in the median income level. So look at that. Um, uh, what about their age? How old are they? Are they very young? Are they very old? Um, you could create a character who's way, way older and uh, he's lived a very, very long time. So he's seen a lot. You know, there are people who have lived to 118 years old. So how about creating somebody who's really really old and has seen a lot might be very interesting what's their hair color what's the length of their hair or are they bald do they have facial hair what's their eye color height weight are they wearing glasses what's their wardrobe do they have an accent what's the pitch of their voice what's the speed of their voice what's the volume of their voice are they outgoing or there are they an introvert What's their intelligence level? Do they have any quirks or mannerisms? Do they have any peeves, any allergies? What's their health like? Are they super healthy 
or are they super sick or are they, you know, have some unknown virus that they don't even, they're not even aware of? Um, do they smoke? Do they drink? Do they do drugs? Do they take some kind of a medicine? You know, some, you could have this 118 year old guy who's on some blood pressure medicine, you know, and that's the one medicine he's taken for ages. Uh, what about any other vices? You know, what about vices? Um, what are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? What do they like? What do they dislike? What's their favorite food, favorite drink, favorite city, favorite music, favorite weather? <laughs> I know people that love the snow. I hate the snow. So anyways, um, yeah, what are their religion? What is their belief? You know, what's their honesty level? What's their trust level towards others? Do they trust others? You could have somebody who's incredibly dishonest and he distrusts others, you know? So he's kind of inflecting that um, and then projecting it outwards that he also distrusts others because he's so dishonest, you know? Uh, what are their fears, habits, hobbies? Do they like to read? If they're reading, do they read books or do they read newspapers? Um, do they watch or do they play sports or both? Are they a collector? What do they collect? Stamps, rocks, I don't know, money? Um, do they have any other interests? Do they have pets? Are they in a current relationship? Do they have a past relationship? Any children? What are their problems? What's, what is their best memory? What is a past traumatic event that they got through or maybe never got through? Maybe it's still right there tearing at their heartstrings. Do they have any fixed ideas? You know, ideas and thoughts that never change. They only think this one thing. A fixed idea would be, for an example, uh, men are pigs, right? So then this girl goes around and she never has a relationship because she thinks men are pigs. You know, it's a fixed idea, right? Um, what about any internal pains? Um, and that can be physical pains too, but you know, this is kind of an emotional pain. So there's that. What about any goals? Do they have some goals? Maybe they want to be, you know, a uh, a supermodel or a, a soccer player. This 118 year old guy could say, hey, I wanna model clothing for old people, <laughs> you know, who knows? Um, what are the barriers to his or her goal? What are or who are his heroes or his mentors? Um, is he a dreamer or is he a pragmatist? Um, does he like radio? Does he like the news? Does he like TV? So those are all, you know, interesting things that you can use to build your characters. And you really, really should. Because again, even if you don't end up using all of these things, at least you have a very fleshed out character. And um, potentially, you know, these things could even come up in later novels. Uh, if you're doing a series, they could come up later in the first novel. You know, um, if you design it in such a way where you can utilize it, then um, more is better because you have everything that you need in case you're going to be creating more stories or you know, using it in a, you know, potentially a TV show or screenplay, you know, you can do so much with it. Um, so again, this is like up to you, but obviously the more fleshed out the character is, the better it is for you because you can um, move your story along knowing what he is like. And then your reader will thank you because your reader will get really invested in your characters. Okay? All right, see you later. If this video has inspired you and you'd like to know more, send me a message below.